Good morning and welcome to another video. This one is the the coastline away and today is part one. Uh, started Scarborough and it goes all the way to Leeds uh, but I'm just going to Moulton today just 30 miles uh, simply because I couldn't get uh, anywhere to stay in Moulton tonight otherwise I would have carried on tomorrow and then done the last part uh, next weekend but as it is I'm going to do parts two and three uh, next Saturday Sunday when I've managed to get somewhere to stay in York uh, so yeah just come across that uh, that bridge over uh, out of the train station over Scarborough I'll just show you what I mean over there that's the one that they had to put um, they had to put the cages up because unfortunately people were doing headers off it you know having a bad time of life and uh, decided to that's it goodbye cruel world and off they went so uh, yeah caged everything in there you go yeah I should have had a, um, a video up last week from the Bullock Smithy hike <sighs> dearie me but that went terrible really badly it's not, it's not so, much, so much the distance but the elevation I'll just give you, just put it in perspective today's the complete 89 mile route today is 3740 feet by the time I'd got to mile 32 checkpoint 8 we'd done 5990 uh, 5990 feet of elevation oh they were killing me yeah so uh, I'd started being sick at checkpoint 6 and by the time we got to checkpoint 8 I was right at the last right at the back of everyone uh, only to be caught up by the uh, the sweeper so uh, yeah so that were that so I thought, I'm going this slow I'm, I'm not going to make the cutoffs for the next checkpoint and so on and so on so I binned it yeah anyway lessons learned and uh, we'll crack on I need some more water because I didn't screw my blooming water bottle down tightly enough and it's half of it's leaked all over my clothes so that's yeah so that's not good right chat to you soon so we just passed mile four and you know those times where you think oh I haven't broke that that route before I'll uh, I'll have a go at that because I've never heard of it and the reason you've never heard of it is because nobody's on it Oh dear, I'm hoping that um, this is the way, <coughs> so uh, yeah, hang on, try not go, to go too far off my Garmin and yet follow the, what looks like uh, a path of sorts, oh dear, because over that way by the trees it's just all uh, all nettles and uh, ah, it's cleared a bit yeah so I'm not going too far we're veer to we're veer left anyway further up here on the GPS and speaking of GPS so the route went uh, came out of South Cliff out of Scarborough and um, up the hill and then straight into a new housing estate uh, after, call, by Eastfield and um, yeah that threw it off a bit and then straight into an industrial estate where it really gave up the ghost and uh, 
So I had to follow the road rather than the path. So if ever you're thinking of doing this, just uh, have a care on the first uh, miles two and, th two and three. Right, well this looks a little clearer. Uh, and much as I would love to watch that red kite hunting for its breakfast. Oh, magnificent birds. Now then. Uh, well, this looks promising. I know it's only a couple of old pieces of wood rammed into the ground, but uh, it's evidence of uh, a fence at least. Yeah, this isn't uh, very well trodden, isn't this? Obviously, not even by dog walkers. Oh, crikey. Uh, we don't want to go directly left, we'll carry straight. Ah, oh, here we go, look. I can just see a, a faint uh, semblance of a path. And we've got the, the uh, like looks like a beck to the right and that was on the map oh dear it won't all be like this he says fingers crossed <laughs> this is why uh, I like to wear long trousers uh, even if it's uh, even on a warm day, uh, very rarely wear shorts. Yeah, and on that last trip, uh, the Abbey's Amble, the part between the hem of my trousers and the top of my socks, where the midges could get in, who boy did they, bitten my feet, bitten my ankles to. Yeah, I don't know. oh I'm going off here, Muppet talking to yourself, I should have gone left there. Ah, oh, what an idiot, what an idiot, I've done it, how many times do I do this? Just lose concentration, and, uh, and then lose my way, but that did, that does look like a genuine path. Yeah, it probably is to somewhere. Uh, my path, of course. Oh dear, dearie me! Right, I'm gonna have to close the phone and uh, have a look on the OS Maps app. Right, chat to you soon when I get out of this mess. See that tree? Yeah, that's on the. That's where I've come from on the left-hand side there, left of the hedgerow, and then you come down to this. You come to that little grey. It's a piece of tubing just to stop you ripping yourself on the barbed wire. And then what do you do? That, those reeds mean there's a ditch. And there is a little bridge, a little footbridge there. And it's two planks of old wood. And when I say old, I mean scarily old. So yeah, and then you come across here and then down there. But uh, yeah, so uh, this route hasn't been used. <laughs> anyway, it's only for the first few miles. Uh, just navigating this. I don't know, somebody must have just looked at the map and got... You know what would make a nice route? If you went down here, down here and down here and haven't wrecked it at all. And Muggins here has just gone on faith. And uh, thought, well, it's on the LDWA website. Must be genuine. So, <laughs> anyway, won't be fun. Won't be fun otherwise, would it? If it were all easy going. <sighs> right. Okay then. So that's that nine, and. Uh, Got the hood up because it's 
it's a bit windy now at the top of the walls uh, and we've just passed that would be Staxton RAF base behind me and uh, yeah I just come past this hedge and I'll show you what uh, what the views are like where are we? it's not bad is it? yeah so we'll come up that, that first short climb and uh, I think I'm going I'm going to be going into the wind for quite a while here quite a way which is a shame really could do we're going through turning 180 degrees but is what it is <sighs> yeah there's a bit of a boring bit uh, when you hit the village of Flickton you just turn right to the village of Staxton Beacon uh, and uh, yeah you just you're onto the A64 and crossing it is a pain in the backside uh, I know it's Saturday but uh, end of the, is it end of the season or does the season end in uh, no it ends at end of October doesn't it so there's another four another four weeks of uh, caravans back and forth along the A64 and then it'll calm down it'll be too cold then to go to the seaside so yeah for those of you who haven't guessed it we're now doing the reverse of the Yorkshire Wolds way uh, so it should become familiar I hope if I haven't forgotten it since February probably will have right I think we only does a little bit of it uh, so I know we go I know we go down that steep climb into Wintringham I've had a look at that on the map so that should be fun coming down a one in four in the woods right okay then chat to you soon right to all those of you that are moaning that's uh, about a rip this is a repeat <laughs> you get repeats on the TV all the time so stop whinging but I just thought I'd get it out of this at this point because uh, this was particularly nasty coming up as I remember a bit more overgrown uh, yeah now it's coming to autumn now isn't it so uh, yeah won't be so bad but yeah the colours are still nice and uh, wind's dropped it's nearly 12 o'clock and the sun's out might take my top layer off pray wear me back for a couple of hours see how we get on mind I can hear the wind over there so Oh, what to do oh not much more to tell you really you've had a weather report you know what route we're on bit of a shame about the uh, miles 3, 4 and 5 being a bit uh, difficult what was it called? Manham Hill yeah oh no I think I might yeah I can hear that go on lad I can hear that wind it uh, seems to be picking up no way up cows are bulls oh, at the bottom of the uh, bottom of this trail Don't look big enough to be a bull. Uh, nah. No. I remember that encounter I had with the last one that were out on the uh, Pennine Way. God, what a beast. 
about the size of two regular cows. Whew. Just all solid muscle. Anyway, where do we go? Down here and veer left. So I've got to go, be going through those gates. Uh, right, as scenic as this little bit is, I'm, uh, I'm going to put it away there. But just get landscape. It's not bad, is it? On a lovely day. Right. So we've passed mile 15 and uh, yeah coming to the top of this little rise it's nice isn't it we've got Sherburn down there about a mile and a half away you can just see the tops of the industrial uh, warehouses down there yeah I can't remember what's what's off that way on towards the horizon uh, just further north I suppose obviously and now then these never did work out what they were for whether they were for uh, herons nests or beacons at bonfire night or what answers on a postcard if you know <laughs> oh. <clears throat> yeah, nice little climb up there. And no, I can't, I, I still can't zoom in. I must get, uh, I must get a decent camera with a zoom which can zoom whilst filming. A big one on the market, but then it's a case of carrying extra batteries and the half pound weight uh, of a camera. Yeah, it's all. Uh, I mean, I'm not. I'm nowhere near one of these ultra light. Uh, cut your toothbrush handle in half. Uh, ultra runners or uh, hikers, but. Uh, I like to keep things, I like to gram count just to see if what I can get away with. Uh, oh, we turn right here. Uh, so, right down the hill to that tree, I think. Ah, uh, that little, and the bush beyond, and then turn left. Yeah. Right. Okay then. Oh. Yeah. As glamping pods go, that's not bad. Apart from the owner with his ride along lawn mower at the back. So they've got plenty of shade from the wind and they've got that view. Not bad. Not bad at all. So coming up to mile 20 and uh, yeah, that's a modern art sculpture. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine figurines. No idea. It'll tell me on the on the plaque. Oh, ah, oh, there it is. Look. Yeah. Still no idea. But a lovely view though. Yeah. Very nice. Uh. 
Naja. That's what it's all about. Oh, that's a dew pond. Okay. This installation is part of Wonder, a series of new artworks along the Yorkshire Wolds Way. For more info, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, go on then. Whatever. Right. Down that hill. Where is it? And into Winteringham and fingers crossed the church hall is open. Last time I was here it was selling drinks. But uh, I just want to show you the the incline or the decline of this monster. Look at that, you think the eh? It's a cliff edge. And it almost is. Steep gradient. <gasps> yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I call that steep. <laughs> Dear in me. It's a beauty, is that? See how far I go before I have to grab hold of something. Yeah. Good grief. What's that, a one in three? Right, that's going to be fun. I'm putting this away. Chat to you soon. Yeah, there you are. Welcome to Winteringham. Where you can buy some water and a cup of tea in the church. So I did. Uh, it leaves the Yorkshire Wolds Way now uh, and it goes towards, just checked, it goes towards Thorpe Bassett and uh, if I remember rightly the Wolds Way comes up one of these side roads and we go right through the village. Yeah it's not much, well it's just one main street really and a church and that's it that's your lot no shops no pubs yeah okay then just past mile 24 and that fella in the tractor has managed to block the field uh, the path which comes right over his uh, field he's not happy about walkers obviously because we're coming up to where just by this passing place, the pathway should come out. And uh, so I've had to walk all the way around the top of his field. You can see, here, here we are, look. <clears throat> so, instead of going back down, left, because uh, this will come into the woods again. <sighs> Dear. It's just, it's ten past five and I've still got about five or six miles to go, which is at least an hour and a half. Now that's me back on track. Uh, yeah, I, I can either go down there and back into the woods again, over the fields, or I can come down here to the junction, turn left and straight down into Setrington. So I'll have a look. Cheers. I think I'm about to get a reminder of my cycling days. I don't think this is Setrington Bank, uh, as that was a brute. When we used to ride from uh, Weatherbit of Filey, uh, 
God, it's going back a few years. 30 years with their Dale Olympic and the, uh, the charity run went up. It was only a 70 miler, but we used to ride back as well, just to make it interesting. And uh, of course I don't live in Weatherby, so we have to get to Weatherby uh, and back. So it made for about 165 mile day. Yeah, fun and games. When I was a fit lad. Uh, but yeah, we used to go up Settrington Bank and then up Terrington. And uh, yeah, but the, the sign just back there, way up. Oh, I don't know why she ain't uh, interrupting. That was 25 miles uh, in 8 hours 22. Uh, but I know it's round about quarter past five now. Uh, there's a train. So yeah, that last sign said five miles to Moulton, but that's on the road. So I might, uh, yeah, I reckon around about five. So let's say five. Uh, <coughs> at three, so an hour 20. Uh, 6.27. There's a train at 12 minutes past, I think, I hope. And then the last one, or oh, there should be one at 7.35 and 8.01. I'll have to check those. Uh, but yeah, I won't be walking home. Let's uh, put it that way. <laughs> right, okay then. Yeah, so, took the easy route. Uh, so it should be 30 miles by the time I get there. And we're just coming into Settrington now. And uh, and then it's going to be back out onto the onto the trails, I think. So yeah, not much to see on the other side. If I just flip it round, not quite in the village yet. So I'll just uh, I'll pause it there. Right, that says Molten Four, and yet I've gone through two miles on my Garmin from mile 25 no hang on hang on hang on hang on it was at 24 now past 26 yeah thanks oh dear well call it four it's quarter to six now I miss that ten past seven train. <laughs> and that's, I think, is all it is. And it? it's just a little bit back behind me. Uh, the right of the T junction and this lovely uh, well it is the houses are the other side of that uh, semicircle but they just let it go why don't somebody get out there with a bloody lawnmower oh, it's all it's all that hogweed you know when it dies down and it produces an ugly brown well I'll just show you what I mean is to see. Oh, need to get out there with it. Somebody put some effort in. Have some pride in where you live. Make a nice little green out of that. Anyway, that was Settrington. And uh, oh, coming up to actual town street. Don't look like much. I can't remember it from the last time. See what I mean, look. 
I hope. Please do not put grass clippings on this privately rented area. Ah, okay. No problem, Miss Russell. You have to buy yourself a, a lawnmower. <laughs> and that's Town Street. Looks nice, doesn't it? If you airbrush the cars out. Right, chat to you soon. Right, it's the last bit of scenery for, uh, for today because it's going to go into a council estate soon so we've come past mile 27 in exactly 9 hours but what it doesn't take into account is the 45 minutes on top of that that I've had prattling about and stopping to buy water and cup of tea you know the little things and stopping to look at the map and we should be yes left there it is look little tiny sign good so yeah I've just had a look at the timetable and I was looking at the wrong one times uh, they were the times from da -da -da -da, from S Scarborough but uh, at Moulton my next train is 6.48 it's 10 past 6 now I'm two and a half miles away so you do the maths that's 45 minutes away more 55 uh, no 50 and so I've just missed that so my next one is 7.48 uh, and it's not a direct to Leeds it's change at York so yeah at my speed I should get into Moulton station 7.20 have we got that right? No. God, when you're tired, you're really tired. 20 minute miling is three miles an hour. I've just under that. And it's to, yeah, so I'm gonna have about 40 minutes to wait when I get to Moulton. Ah, it's not a problem. I think it starts getting dark at about quarter to seven. I brought my head torch, but uh, yeah, just in cases, as I say. So, uh, yeah, but it's been a nice day, apart from the first few miles and the, and then the farmers blocking the path right, where are we is that gate locked hey get over that one right oh yes there you go look nicely padlocked thanks pal right over we go right I'll just turn this off then